Good afternoon, friends. Uh, this is the first kind of video like this that I've ever done, uh, and I'm only doing it uh, today for the first time. Lord knows that there are plenty of things I could have uh, made videos about in the past, but uh, today I'm making this video uh, about impeachment. Today is the day after the uh, House voted on party lines uh, to impeach President Donald Trump. Uh, for two articles of uh, one being abuse of power and the other being obstruction of Congress. Uh, the first things I want to bring up are the articles themselves, um, which the first one, uh, abuse of power, is pretty nebulous and uh, it's not actually pointing to any kind of statute uh, that I know of. Uh, they're not really telling you that a, a specific crime was committed. They're just saying, well, we have a theory that uh, no fact or material witness has actually, you know, proven that um, Trump withheld military aid from Ukraine uh, in exchange for a political uh, investigation. Um, I think that, A... This is a terrible precedent to set because there are so many things you can call abuse of power. For instance, um, you know, Jerry Nadler's uh, arm of the impeachment uh, saga, um, he was head of uh, the Judiciary Committee and was supposed to allow a, a minority uh, hearing. The Republicans were supposed to be allowed a hearing. Um, and he didn't allow that. Uh, it was the House's own rules. Uh, he didn't allow that. He said he'd consider allowing a date to discuss whether or not they would do it. No, I mean, the rules stated, you know, he was supposed to hold that hearing. He didn't do that. Sounds like an abuse of power. Um, just to, you know, just as a starting point, just as a jumping off point for you to understand how easily you can twist anything into an impeachable offense if you don't actually point to a high crime or misdemeanor and turn it into this nebulous, uh, abuse of power thing. Um, secondly, obstruction of Congress is a total farce. Um, now, for those who don't really dive deep into this kind of thing, uh, the reason that there are three branches of the government is uh, the judiciary, uh, the judicial branch rather, is there to uh, solve disputes between the executive and the legislative branches. So, you have this impeachment inquiry going on, and the uh, Democrats want uh, certain witnesses from the White House, and uh, Trump refused to give it to them. Uh, that is constitutional for him to refuse that. That is called executive privilege, and it has been being used by every president since Washington. So um, to say it's unprecedented for him to refuse to give these people up as witnesses uh, for what he saw to be as an absolute charade. Um, trying to call that obstruction of Congress is uh, pretty flimsy, and in fact, uh, the real remedy was they should have taken it to the court. Um, there is no basis for a, uh, an obstruction of Congress. It doesn't actually even exist. Um, and furthermore, that one got more nays and a present than the first article. Uh, the first article got two nays from the Democrats and Tulsi Gabbard voted present. The second article got three nays from the Democrats and uh, Tulsi Gabbard voted present. So uh, that one, you know, even among the Democrats was even less well received. Um, now, the reason that they didn't take it to court and they decided to just make it another article uh, they knew they were going to get the votes anyway, so, you know, whatever they could throw at the wall to see if it stuck, that's the one thing. The second is they were in such a rush to get this done. I don't know if it's supposed to be a, a Christmas present to their constituents or um, if they got something sneakier in the pipe. Um, I've read a couple theories. Now, before I get to this theory, um, one of the more despicable parts of all this, if it could get any more despicable, is that uh, Nancy Pelosi is now holding on to the articles because uh, she knows it's going to get steamrolled in the Senate, so she's holding on to it. Uh, but one of the theories I've read, uh, it's a little concerning, especially when you think about how go-for-broke they are uh, going on this. Um, 
I've heard that they might be holding on to the articles because they've got a couple of things in court right now. They're trying to get um, grand jury material. Uh, grand juries, by the way, uh, did not vote to indict Trump. So whatever they get from the grand juries, if they can, which I don't think there's any basis for them to get it. Uh, maybe there is. Maybe there's a precedent. Uh, whatever they get, um, we already know that they didn't vote to indict. So it's just going to be more political. Hey, they'll twist it into whatever they want it to do uh, the way they have been. Uh, the other thing, they're trying to compel a um, an interview with Don McGahn. Um, now, Don McGahn during Mueller, um, he was the biggest political talking point of the Democrats after the Mueller report. Because Trump said... Uh, that he thought Mueller was conflicted, too conflicted to be the um, special counsel. And so he allegedly told Don McGahn, um, you got to tell Rod Rosenstein to, to fire this guy. He, he's too conflicted. I think I think somebody put a couple articles in front of Trump, um, you know, probably something from Breitbart or something like that, um, pointing out all these conflicts of interest that, um, you know, Robert Mueller has as a result of cases he's tried or whatever. I think even he's had some kind of personal dispute with Trump in the past over real estate. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, whether or not these um, accusations of bias or uh, conflict of interest are actually uh, realized, um, you know, even if you find that they're not, um, the very basis that he says, well, I, I, I think he might be conflicted, so go tell uh, you know, the assistant director of the FBI to um, deputy director uh, that he picked the wrong guy to do this. He needs to pick another guy. Go tell him that this guy can't do it. You're going to impeach and remove the president for saying that. He didn't order it. He didn't write a letter and sign it. It didn't actually happen. He just said it. Um, so they want Dom again for that. I don't know what they're going to get out of that. So there's a possibility they're holding on to the article so that they can get this stuff. That would be even worse than it already is. Um, going back to what they impeached Trump for, I mean, when you consider the the witnesses they withheld uh, from the Republicans, they didn't let the, the White House present any evidence. When you consider they didn't let the um, minority, the, the Republicans and the judiciary to... Uh, hold a hearing when that is in the rules explicitly, that's an abuse of power. So House Democrats being held to their own standard could all be impeached. Um, and I would argue refusing to give the uh, articles of impeachment to the Senate after it passed the House. If you want to go with a flimsy crap, that is also the second article. That's an obstruction of Congress. You're uh, you're obstructing a, a proceeding, um, you know, if you want to follow the logic of uh, Nancy Pelosi at all. So, impeachment's a joke. Um, Trump's poll numbers have gone up. In fact, in all the battleground states, uh, he's looking better than ever. Uh, there was just a recent poll uh, that came out showing that, um, you know, previous polls were showing that all the Democrats were lined up to beat him, even the ones who are gone now, Beto and uh, Kamala, for instance, they were all going to beat him. Um, he's beating them all now. So his poll numbers went up, impeachment's poll numbers went down as people saw how much of a farce it was. Um, so in the end, you know, it's only helping him. Um, there's going to be some sketchy stuff going on with uh, her withholding the articles, but we'll see where that goes. Um, other than that, I was happy to make this video. I hope you liked it, and maybe I'll make more. Bye-bye.